Assalamualaikum and hi. Today, I would like to walk through the wet market. I just love wet markets. I just love the smell and I like the noise, you know, the ambience. And I would like to highlight a special fish that I saw at the market. Come on, let's go to the market. I've just arrived at Palaslango Fish Market. It's the wet market. It's got all sorts of Wow, fresh fish. Uh, ikan selangin. It's nice also. Ikan bulus. Yes. Yes. Ikan sage. Ikan sage. Very sweet. The cockles. Adik, kerapu ni berapa sekilo? Kerapu lah. Bos pilih ikan favourite ni. Ikan kembung. I think it's nice. Sweet. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad Merah. 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 Lauk ni kan? Lauk ni. Dua, tiga, lima kasih dulu lah. Ah, istri kita tiga, empat lah. Okey lah, okey lah. Dulu sahaja lah, oh. lain orang tak ada. Ikan parang. Lauk ni, sharing. Panggilan ke Bali. Ikan nyok-nyok. Unusual name. There's a little flesh in it. Ini entah dulu. Ini kan risotto. Ini kan risotto nafas. Ikan ayam. Ini ikan ayam Macam yeah. ayam tapi nama ayam Ya, yeah. <laughs> betul Merahnya yang macam ni Okey ke? Tak keras ke? Sol This is sol Ikan sebelah Ah, Ini baru ikan baru Lama-lama jantik Ikan awal jantik Ikan krisi Ini sorosin Saya suka ini I'd like to talk a bit more about the parrotfish or ikan bayan. Yeah, colors. Yeah, yeah so okay. much colorful, colors. so colorful. many colors, yeah? Look at that. And this fish, if you eat it, it's really nice. But we cannot eat this fish. Why? Because this fish is very important to the coral reefs. I received a book called Bayan the Parrotfish, written by my two friends from University of Malaysia Terengganu, Dr. Azhar Jauhar and Dr. Tengku Farah Kamilia. I'm going to use this book to read and talk about the parrotfish with my grandchildren. Bayan the Parrotfish. My name is Bayan. I live in a coral reef. Look at my beak. It looks exactly like a parrot's beak. Using my hard and sharp teeth, I graze on the algae of the corals. While removing algae, I also bite on the corals. I grind corals with my molar-like teeth. Algae is a kind of plant that lives on the corals. And there are too many uh, algae, then the corals will die. By nibbling on corals, I create space for new baby corals to attach and grow. You know, you need to have corals because uh, you have got this called the coral reef, the ecosystem too, they mesti uh, ada kita good corals. Uh, if the corals die, then we don't have corals. The small pieces of corals that I ate turn into white sand. Bayan's poo 
is white coral sand. I helped to make new sand for your beach. An adult parrotfish can produce up to 90 kg of sand per year. Next time when you walk on the white coral sand, you are walking on? On parrotfish pool. <laughs> Have you eaten a parrotfish? <laughs> because at that time I didn't know that I was not supposed to eat what do you call a parrotfish. Uh, let me, huh? Then we can't see the beautiful corals and we can't um, we can't feel the sandy beach. Yes. Which we have fun with. Yes. And we are superheroes. We are superheroes. And we are not going to eat the parrotfish. So now you know more about ikan bayan or parrotfish. So that's the reason why. Kalau tak kita ada pantai yang berpasir putih dan juga batu karang yang cantik, indah sangat. Mungkin akan tak ada sebab parrotfish tak ada, ikan bayan tak ada. Tak ada siapa yang nak membersihkan batu ke batu karang ini. Tak cukup matahari dan tak akan hidup. Kan tu yang susah. Everyone, please stay away from parrotfish. Beautiful as they are, appreciate from afar. So I'm going to wrap up today's session. Be happy, be healthy, stay home, and do reach out to people. Assalamualaikum and bye. No parrotfish. <laughs>